Unit 19, questions uh, 62 to 63. So uh, consider a method for finding bilirubin. Wow, lots of equations, constants, numbers. Let's get down to it. <laughs> um, for A455 to equal A575. Okay, so uh, basically mm, two equations were given and uh, now we must equate them. So as I'm equating them, I'm going to uh, replace some, some information. I see uh, we have KB, and, and of course, I'm also noticing that where it has KB, the B is for bilirubin, and KH, the H is for, stands for hemoglobin, because that's what all this stuff is about, this, this article. So um, I'm gonna put uh, the uh, first equation, um, where we have CB, uh, it's KB455, so that's 0 0.8. So I have the number, I'm putting 0 0.8 <clears throat> CB plus uh, 0.01 uh, CH, and that's equal to um, 0 0.01 CB plus uh, 0 0.01 CH. And I'm just uh, plugging in the values that have been uh, given. And so um, 0.01 CH can cross out with 0.01 CH. In other words, we subtract the same number from both sides. Now we're left with 0.8 CB is equal to 0.01 uh, CB. So um, yeah, there's no number on the world in the world. <laughs> that can uh, permit that to be true, except for if CB is equal to zero, then zero equals zero. But besides that, uh, it's impossible. There's no number that can uh, permit that. 62 uh, must be D, so CB uh, is equal to zero. But notice something, it makes us have to think, okay? Because uh, um, if you, I'm hoping you've noticed by doing enough of ACES problems is that sometimes I say quite a few times they have questions that are linked from one uh, passage to another, from one question to another. Not from one passage to another. I really do mean from one question to another. And so <clears throat> here's uh, exactly that uh, kind of situation. So we have to keep in mind uh, that there's an importance here of CB, the concentration of uh, bilirubin, and, uh, and that it does make a difference based on the KB, the, the constant for bilirubin. So, um, so let's keep that in mind. So question uh, 63, in order to determine the concentration of bilirubin as well as the measuring absorbance at 4, 5, 5, the absorbance is measured 5, 7, uh, 5 because <clears throat> bilirubin strongly, uh, absorbs strongly at this wavelength. Um, does bilirubin absorb strongly at 575? Five, five? No, it is quite the opposite. It absorbs strongly at 455 five, because we can see the KB for bilirubin, the constant is 0 0.8, but at 575, five, KB is 0 0.01. So we just learned this today, okay? <clears throat> you didn't know. Anything about bilirubin except for the very basic things stored in the gall, made in the liver, stored in the gallbladder. But here you are uh, now, basically a lab technician, um, going through um, how uh, it's uh, found and determined. But so this is just learned here. And then 63, hemoglobin absorbs strongly at this wavelength. Uh, at 575? No, because looking at those constants again, KH4. KH for hemoglobin, KH455 and KH575, uh, hemoglobin absorbs the same at both of those. So uh, answer choice B is wrong. Bilirubin absorbs equally at the wavelength and 455. So they're saying equally at 575 and 455. No, it absorbs at 0 0.8 and 0 0.01 at those two. And then finally, hemoglobin absorbs equally at these wavelengths and at 455. Yes, hemoglobin absorbs equally at both, 0.01 and 0.01. And the usefulness of uh, measuring twice is because it removes uh, hemoglobin as the baseline. This is commonly done you know, in science in general. You have something that you don't want uh, the results to affect something, so you, so you measure it in two different uh, 
uh, ways at at uh, um, point four five sorry at four five five and at five seven five we know that's not changing so it ends up being like uh, sort of like background uh, noise and then you can focus on the bilirubin because it's the bilirubin that's changing from one to the other so sixty three the answer is D.